What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in San Jim Town. Now we're about to go to Route 201 and or 202! Wow, have I been saying 201 for for a while? Oh crap, I messed up a lot. Oh wow. Well. Anywho, in our last episode, we got to learn how to capture a Pokemon here and there, you know. I uh, got to tell our mama that, hey, we're going on another adventure, so you won't see us for probably another year, maybe five. And uh, here we are battling some new Pokemon, you know, Starly, that kind of stuff. And yes, we did name our Turtwig Donatello after the Ninja Turtle. We're going to keep that trend going. Now, I'm trying to figure out, what is the next Turtle Pokemon? I need to find out. I really need to, just to finish the, like, the, 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 the full set of Ninja Turtles and all that stuff. But anywho, as you can see, we're battling Starly, and yeah, my Pokemon Donatello is at level 8. You guys did not see the whole wild Pokemon battle, uh, because in this walk right here, or, you know, while, while I'm doing this, I'm actually editing out the wild Pokemon battle, because we don't need to see that. Yeah, takes too much time, especially since I already know what's going to happen here in Pokemon Platinum. And, uh, let's see, I'm just going to, you know, get a potion right here, get a Pokemon... That's right, and, uh, well, time to move on right here. There's some trainers here, and trainer tips, all Pokemon are involved in battle, get experience points. Okay, so we already know that kind of stuff. I just like to read the signs. I want to see if, like, there's something like Draven rules or something, and Barry sucks. I don't know. So, anywho, here we go with another battle, because we have to battle to get better. That kind of stuff. I don't know, but here we go, taking on another Bidoof, Bidoof Hitmel. And here we have Donatello, ready to kick some ass. Only two moves, yes, right now. But we will get to our next move set. Don't worry. Do not worry. I, I get it. Donatello or Turtwig, not the easiest Pokemon to actually use. It really isn't. Not the easiest Pokemon to actually, like, you know, to, to train and to have on your team and all that stuff. I just remember when I was a uh, Draven XE 7-Eleven, I did... Maybe, 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 just maybe, having to do a Pokemon Diamond walkthrough, and yeah, I did use a Turtwig uh, as my starter. Ah, uh, brought me flashbacks, and look at that, we just won. We're kicking ass, that's right. Okay, so moving on forward right here, getting attacked by a Pokemon. As you can see, you know, we're doing the edits for the wild Pokemon battle. Not just, uh, not, not, not for the, uh, you know, the Pokemon training battles, because, you know, or the Pokemon trainer battles, like I said. I am going on three hours of sleep. I am sorry. So, here we go. Donatello ready to kick some butt. Now, I did say that <laughs> I was going to come out with these uh, episodes on my birthday. But in the very first episode, as I explained right there, yeah. I got caught off guard with a very, very nice uh, surprise gift. And, uh, yeah. All those plans went out the window. Didn't even let you guys know. I just went on a birthday cruise, which I've never been on a cruise before, but hey, you know what? You gotta take advantage of it, right? Am I right? Am I right? That's right, guys. So, I had a very good birthday, last year of my 20s, and, uh, please no old jokes, <laughs> please, please, and look at that, Donatello goes to level 10 right now, I think we just battled quite a few Pokemon right there, I don't know. I don't even know. Okay, so right here, Jubilife City's up ahead, and I don't think that, yeah, this guy's not a trainer. Yeah, this guy's talking about the Pokemon and all that stuff that attack you, and here we've got ourselves a potion, which is a very good item, I guess. And, uh, well, the next place to go is Jubilife City, and there's our future wifey, Dawn. And she's like, you catch your Pokemon? Oh, wait, you didn't even catch our Pokemon! Oh, so, were we supposed to capture Pokemon? I didn't even know that. Okay, so that probably messed up something within the game. I don't even know, but... As you can see, Don is explaining to us that they're, we're in Jubilee City, and uh, this guy right here is just like, Hmm, what? Mysterious man? What do you know? How do you know? I'm from the International Police. He's making a conversation, uh, Shady Man. Okay, so he went from Mystery Man to Shady Man. Yeah, this guy is just being weird and whatnot. He's telling me that, you know, his power of intellectual, fearsome something. Let me introduce myself. I am the Globetrotter Elite Pol International Police. My name is Looker. They call me Looker. So, technically... Technically, that's his name. Or, I guess, his code name. But he doesn't really tell us his real name. But, Looker in this game will become an integral part of the story. And, uh, we get ourselves a VS recorder. I guess that's for, like... 
online battling, I think, but that doesn't even work anymore. I'm, yeah. So, Luca's just looking around, and he's like, also, oh, gotta warn that there's uh, some Pokemon, I'm on duty, you must, yada, 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 yada. Again, guys, I'm only doing the voiceover, did not, I am not playing the game right now, which kind of sucks because, you know, I would read the whole entire thing. I would try to misread the whole entire thing. So, as you can see, we're trying to look for Barry right now, and she tells me that he's in the Pokemon school, I think. I don't know. He's not in the Pokemon school. I think he is in the Pokemon school. I don't know. Well, what do you know? He's in the Pokemon school. That jackass. Okay, so, question of the day. What kind of drug do you think Barry's on? Is he on uh, crack? Cocaine? Meth? Or is, is he just high? Because I'll tell you this right now. He's not on the marijuana. He is not on the marijuana because that is not one high Pokemon. Now, he gives us a town map in exchange for the parcel, which is good because, you know, map is always good to actually see where you're at. And, uh, well, he's just here just to learn and trying to be the world's greatest trainer, which, you know, he's not because he's annoying. And here we get ourselves an X attack, which is always useful, you know, for our boosting up our attacks and all that fun stuff. Now, if you go right here, you will actually be able to battle these two guys right here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to battle these guys. Now, both these guys like to use the X items that we just picked up. I think this guy goes with, like, an X defense or something. Or an X attack. I could not remember for the life of me. So, here we are battling another Starly. And this guy comes out with this X attack. So, okay. I remember that. And, uh, well, he's going to go with a quick attack. I do not care because, Donatello, you're strong. You will destroy this Starly and, oh, nearly defeats him. And he throws in a quick attack for, for you know, at measure right there. But there we go with a tackle attack. Eat it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. That's right. And, wow, that just sounds good. You know, the experience points going up, that sounds very, very good. Alrighty, so, we defeated you, I think. No, he doesn't give us anything. Okay, now, talk to this guy right here. He wants to battle us, so just bring it. Just bring it. Here we go. Taking on this chick right here. Her name is Christine, and she will be coming out with the Bidoof. While I come out with Donatello again, because, you know, uh, capturing Pokemon is overrated. I get it. <laughs> and there we go with an Absorb attack. And uh, just to let you guys know, Bidoof is not a Water-type Pokemon. Yet. Not yet. So, there you go, attacking us like crazy and whatnot. And, uh, well, me, I'm just going to do this, you know, absorb because I, 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 I just know this. And, uh, how does it feel to fail? How does it feel to fail? Bam! Look at that. And we grow to level 13, which is pretty cool. That is also good, and, uh, well... Confident is pretty good. Dude, you didn't even attack us, you just, like, stood there and watched your Pokemon die. Okay, so that's that, and uh, unfortunately we can't go through here because, what, we don't have, oh yeah, we don't have gym badges, so unless we have a gym badge, we can't go through here, so that's part of the list right there, and uh, okay, so now if you talk to this guy right here, he's going to be talking to you about some contests that you guys have, and this guy's like, wow, you got a, you don't, you're a Pokemon trainer and you don't have a Poketech? Oh my god, you need that, so we're going to do a little promotional game where you get the, you know, you get some, uh, what, coupons from these clowns. Of course, there's a clown. He will ask you a question, answer him correctly, he will give you a coupon, which is pretty cool. Um, so there we go, coupon number one. Now, what is a Poketech? It's basically our equivalent of an Apple Watch. has a bunch of applications, and, you know, it just makes you, makes you see some cool shit, you know. Who ever thought that Pokemon predicted that we were going to have an Apple Watch? It's pretty cool. And, uh, so this lady's asking us, what kind of a group name would you have? Now, I do want to come out with, like, some pretty awesome group name, but, you know, it's very vulgar and all that stuff. So, I'm just gonna be like, you know what? They call me Sensei. So, we're gonna call this the Sensei Group. Because all you guys bow down to me. I am Sensei. Sensei Draven. Ready to kick some you-know-what. And, uh, let's see, uh, tenants, th I guess this is a hotel right here, and, uh, alrighty, so we're talking to this guy, they're talking about the Pokétech, so I guess Pokétech is really big around this area right here, and like I said, it is, uh, you know, 
our equivalent of an Apple Watch. Now this lady right here gives us the Quick Claw, which, you know, it's it could be useful for any kind of slow Pokemon, like Donatello right here, because, you know, he's a turtle, or tortoise, or snapping turtle, and he's not that fast, not as, not fast at all. And, uh, well, talking to this guy, he will give you a Heal Ball, which is pretty cool, right? No, he doesn't give you a Heal Ball, he just talks about Heal Balls. And, uh, well, this guy talks to us about Pokemon learning new moves as they get stronger, which is true. And, uh, we're just gonna go downstairs because, nah, yeah, we don't really need to talk to, uh, to anybody else right here. Now, we gotta find these clowns right here to get those Poketex, and this is where the Jubilee uh, TV is at, and if you talk to this guy, bam, gives you another Poketex, uh, coupon right here. Did not read the answer, but I'm just gonna give you a spoiler alert right now, guys. All the answers is yes, or are yes. I don't even know. They're all yes, guys. And, uh, let's see. There's something, oh yeah, we find ourselves a potion right here, which is always cool. And if you talk to this guy, he will ask you again, just like Pokemon types, Pokemon moves have types too, and that is true. That is so true. And there we go, guys. We get ourselves another coupon, which I guess three is the limit, right? And if we go in here, I... Huh. What is this place? Uh, oh yeah. This can't be the TV station. It can't be the TV... Oh, you see, this is why I have to... The, yeah, this is why I have to, uh, <laughs> read this, uh, like, quickly, because... Crud. This Mume, you need a better... You, you need a faster app, man, come on! And, uh, well, this guy's talking about faster app... Oh, Poketech. Yeah. So... I guess the Poketech is very, very popular. So, whatever, guys. I'm just gonna move on right here, talk to people so they can give me free items. This guy's talking to me about Poketech. This lady talks about Poketech apps. And uh, so, that basically means that I have to go get a Poketech. Yeah, I have to go get a Poketech. So, yeah, again, who would ever thought that uh, Nintendo would predict that? Or was it a prediction? I don't know. Could be a prediction. I don't even know. So let's move on down right here and uh, let's see, where is that fat guy? Ah, there he is. Okay, so now I've talked to him, get the coupons, bravo, bravo, you get yourself a Poketech watch and look at that. We got ourselves a Poketech and it's, uh, what? I guess it's 12.34 midnight? Wow. I, I, I play this very, very quickly and as you can see, the apps show you different kinds of apps like counter, calculator, or the uh, the status of your Pokemon and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. I don't think we're going to be going anywhere else, but there is one more thing that I want to get before the end of this episode. is, And that is, if you come in here, talk to this guy, he will give you an old rod. And believe it or not, guys, keep that in mind because I'm going to need that for something uh, important has something to do with uh, maybe about our team and whatnot so uh, you know think about it guys think about it so moving on forward right here uh, just looking at everybody you know saying hi how's it going whatever and uh, let's see well we're just gonna go heal up our Pokemon so stay tuned guys in the next episode it will be fun see you guys